Yo, what is up everybody? We are gonna do it guys. We are gonna slam the 240 and uh, hopefully I don't get any complications. All right guys, 240 is in the garage. I had to move Brandon's GTR out. So let's go and start with the rears. It's easy as one first and then uh, do the fronts. Hey, look at Kevin Nguyen. What's up, boys? How you doing? Look, you're listening to Vietnamese music? Yeah. Your e-brake is rolling back. Wood block. There you go. Safety first, guys. Yo, guys, check this out. It's not even tightened. I guess in order to lower it, you loosen this. And... Huh. All right, cool, guys. Thomas is here to help because I was starting up this for like 20 minutes and I had no idea what I was doing, so... <laughs> so... If you guys want to adjust coils on the car instead of taking it off, what you do is you want to make sure that your preload, uh, preload. your preload rings are locked to each other, so it doesn't, so the preload doesn't adjust later. Oh, I see. There you go. That's locked. Now you need to unlock this, which is already unlocked, yeah, right? Take it off. Right? And now, think of it like a. I always think of a soda cap. Uh huh. To shorten it, you tighten the soda cap, right? Mm -hmm. You want to loosen it, you unscrew the soda cap. So now that this is loose. If you adjust the top one, it should be. Oh, actually, use the bottom one since you're going back. Oh, you're going down. Okay, you're going down, so you go this way. So use the big one. This hopefully the whole. Yeah, see, so the way. So I think your whole strut is not seized. So you're lucky on that. Oh no, seized. So oh. since it's seized, I think. This is seized right here. Yeah, the whole thing. So it's probably better if you just take off your coils. And then take it apart and, and then clean it. You can clean it if you want. We'll just try adjust it from that okay yeah all right so we're gonna take it out now just take out got it off but it's kind of stuck now there you go. This like on there, bro. all right guys, so we got no choice to drop the what the preload the preload so because these this part right here is seized and we can't get it to either go up or down so i'm getting new coils anyway so we're doing this for now so i can see my car lower god these coils are probably like 15 Ten. years old bro I mean, Randy had the same problem. If you guys remember when they had S14, he bought the exact same coils used, and all we tried, we used everything. So all the teeth broke when we're trying to adjust it, so. and he soaked in Coca-Cola for like oh yeah, I remember weeks. That. And then he decided just to buy new coils because K Sports, they might be good, but so far like they seize up pretty easily. All right, guys. So if you guys don't have money to buy brand new coils, then you have a chance to like. By use one, they start to check if they're blown. You drop the preload until there's a gap right here. And when you push this down, and if it rebounds back up, then it's not blown. Cool. But if it stays down, then it's blown. All right, both cars are lowered. All right, so I don't think this is the recommend way doing it, but it's just temporary. Yeah, unless you're like me, uh, form preload, the, the front is like that. And I got a shorter spring too, so it's even worse. Oh, shit. But, and that's got the rings. Oh. So the coals don't make it, they don't make it low enough for my car. So. <laughs> All right, we got one side in. Let's go ahead and put the coils on this side on. And again, hope for the best. Right, guys, we're done with the rears. Ready for the height? Let's go. Moment of truth right here. Moment of truth, drop it slowly. Drop it slowly. Slowly. <laughs> Hurry up, bro. Dude, I'm trying, I'm like letting go slowly. The fans are anticipating, bro. Anticipation is real, bro. Or right here, check that. It's... Man just stops right here. Nah, let's keep this still going. It's lower than before already, right? Yeah. Wait, is it still going? Before I had this much. Wait, Vu, I think you have to unjack it more. Jack. Loosen the jack more. Loosen more? Yeah. Uh, are you great? Yeah. Yeah, it's still going, it's still going. Is it all the way? No. Should just let it go all the way? Just let it go all the way, fuck it. What is all the way? Oh, man, weak! Is it lower than before? Yeah, it's a lot lower. Before, Man. Before it was like this much gap. Up to there? Yeah. I told you, max it, bro. Thomas said max it out, so I maxed it out. It's time to max it out, baby. So my corals are maxed out now. This is take two. Take two. Hopefully it's a decent height. Ooh. It's not a bad height. That's it. It's not bad height. It's pretty good height. 
Compared to before, you know? For now, let me know what you think in the comments below. So the front's gonna be a little bit more complicated because, uh, well actually no, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the rears. Just make this out because this is seized. All right, good news guys. So I checked both sides. So the lower mount is not seized. So now I could do everything the proper way. I almost missed it. There's another ring down here that you need to tighten. When this, when this piece goes down, it pushes this out and then, uh, but uh, yeah, make sure you tighten this as well. But this side looks good. Let's go hop on the other side and do the same thing. Yo guys, this is the moment of truth. I just finished doing the both fronts and uh, it's time to put the wheels on. Oh, actually no, I cannot put the wheels on yet. Just kidding. I need to grind this down. Right here. I gotta grind this and hammer it down. Can't find safety glasses, so I gotta use this. All right, so this is how it looks like right now. I'm gonna go get the hammer and bah, 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 bah. And here's the after. Lit. I like it. That is why our neighbors hate us. Oh well. I'm done. Let's throw the wheels on and wish me luck. All right, guys, so I'm rubbing again, but Christian has a solution for me. Hit it. All right, so I'm gonna test this 15 mil spacer. Unfortunately, these 15 mil spacers um, don't have all the lug nuts that are low profile to use them with. If anything, Vuz is gonna need to run some, maybe some regular spacer um, nuts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if this space right here, this cutout, which is meant for smaller spacers like 15 mils, mm -hmm. if we can fit this in here, which it doesn't look like it will, unfortunately. It depends. So, let's see. We know that the stud, even if this is like a, this looks like it's a five by 100 hole, meant for like a five by 100 to five, one by, a five by 114 spacer. So, we know that the stud will be a little bit further up, which is nice, which might even give them room to clear for like a nut that wasn't as low profile as this. So let's just slap these on and see what we get. Looks like none of these are gonna work. Well damn. Sorry, All right. So I convinced Boo to stop being a little pussy and use some bigger spacers. And bam, we got some stance. Hey, why you got two hats on? <laughs> Do I have two hats on? Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> this whole time. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are my new hats that I'm dropping. Moment of truth, I'm finally finished. Hopefully everything is okay. The 15th moment truth. <laughs> Fuck! Ah, uh, you're. Uh, yeah, bro. I think you're gonna have to max it out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to max it out. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry, guys. I was able to finish this today. There's just a little gap left that I need to fix, but um, I'll do it tomorrow. It's been a long day. All right, guys, we are back at it. Yesterday, this wasn't maxed out, or it's not low enough, so today I'm just gonna max it out, bring it all the way down, and uh, and hopefully it's low enough for you guys. Boom, maxed out. All right, guys, I just finished, and the wheels are back on. It looks super low already. I have a bad feeling about this. What? So it clears, I hope. Let's check the other side. Damn. Could be better. All right, so I came across my first issue. I guess when I turn my my wheels to the right, it's hitting this, it's hitting this right here. So we, I guess I just have to hit it with the hammer, make sure it clears and we should be all good. Found a hammer. All right, it's all hammered in. It looks really ugly, but hey, hopefully it clears my tires. All right, Christian coming in. Now. Ouch, smashed my finger, but it's cool, I got some medicine. It's lit guys, it's not rubbing anymore. Woo! Yo so guys, the 240 is finally lowered. Let me know in the comments below, but I'm gonna go drive somewhere and get some pictures for Instagram. Can't really see too much in here, so yeah. Let's just go somewhere, I need pump gas anyway, so let's just go somewhere and get some photos and, uh, and then call it a day. All right guys, so this is what happens when you uh, max out your preload. Watch, watch. I'm gonna hit this bump right now. There, there it is. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Fuck! Alright, guys.
guys. I gotta wait for the sun to go down a little bit, but here's a little sneak peek before I post everything up on Instagram. Hope you guys like it. I'm definitely liking it more than I did before. I can go a little bit lower, but uh, not just yet. I'm not that experienced in driving low yet. But uh, yeah, look forward to those pictures on Instagram, guys. If you, have, if you guys haven't followed me yet on Instagram, please do so. I'll leave my Instagram in my uh, description below. But here you guys, give you guys another look. A lot of you guys have been telling me, slam the 240. Well, there it is, I slammed it. Bucket, full send. I scraped a lot coming over here though, but it's cool. I'm smelling some tire. I think I'm rubbing on something. Maybe the fronts or the rears. I don't really know, I'll look into it another day. All right guys, you guys reached the end of the vlog. I'm actually gonna focus on taking pictures right now so I can post on Instagram. You guys haven't followed me yet on Instagram, please do so, I'll leave it in my description below. But other than that guys, comment below what do you guys want me to do next to my 240 because uh, I'm not sure what I want to do next. Body kits can go on later. I want to enjoy the stock look for now. But yeah, you guys enjoy hanging out with me today. Like, comment, subscribe. Help your boy hit 30K. And I'll see you guys next video, guys. Later.